We have breaking news. There's new evidence against Donald Trump involved in the criminal probe ongoing in Georgia. The, the investigation into Donald Trump's efforts to overturn Georgia's election results. There's no way we lost Georgia. There's no way. Intensifying. Grand jury exhibit A. The now infamous call between Trump and Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger. All I want to do is this. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more that we have, because we won the state. Reported around the wor world that phone call, and so we have said, yes, that is part of the investigation. What else is part of the investigation? Grand Jury Exhibit B, another phone call, this one between Trump and a chief Georgia investigator. Trump says she will be praised if the election results are overturned. When the right answer comes out, you'll be praised. People will say, great. Because that's what it's about, that ability to check and to, and to make it right. Because everyone knows it's wrong. Legal experts say what Trump did was very wrong and that he is in a lot of trouble. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for watching. Subpoenas for documents and testimony have now been issued by the Fulton County, Georgia, grand jury. In addition to the two Trump phone calls published by various news organizations, records show there were 18 other phone calls from the Trump White House to try and reach the Georgia Secretary of State before Mr. Trump finally connected. The frenzied effort helps establish intent, a crucial aspect in returning a grand jury indictment and then convicting a defendant at trial. Beyond the Trump efforts in phone call with the Secretary of State Raffensperger and the Trump call with the unelected chief election investigator, Mr. Trump also contacted Georgia's governor, Brian Kemp. Mr. Trump asked Kemp to convene a special session of the legislature to overturn the election. Records show Mr. Trump also contacted Georgia's Attorney General, Chris Carr, asking him not to oppose a Trump lawsuit that was challenging the November 6 results. Under Georgia law prohibiting election interference, the key question is this. Did Donald Trump, believing he won the election, merely seek to have election officials count every ballot and reach a fair outcome? Or did Mr. Trump try to convince officials to come up with results that would throw the election in his favor? Trump's own words on the recorded phone calls make it clear he wanted help throwing the election his way. And in interpreting words and actions, prosecutors and jurors are instructed to use common sense. There is no common sense way to interpret Trump's words and actions as an innocent effort to make sure every Georgia vote was counted. That's not what Trump realistically could have meant when he asked the Georgia chief election investigator to find the right answer or when he asked the Secretary of State to find exactly 11,780 votes. Now, while the Fulton County Grand Jury is still in its early stages, the DA has already added some firepower. Multiple news organizations report that Fannie Willis just hired attorney Michael Carlson, an expert on the rules of evidence and criminal procedure. His expertise would be crucial in investigating a former president. A few weeks ago, DA Willis hired John Floyd, a nationally renowned lawyer who's considered an expert in racketeering cases. In other words, the Fulton County DA is beefing up her team. And by the way, this is the second known criminal investigation into Donald Trump. The former president is also being investigated by Manhattan District Attorney Cy Vance. He is reportedly reviewing Trump and the Trump Organization finances for evidence of fraud. A fraud case in New York and an election interference case in Georgia. Watch out.